Howdy, and hello, I'm Doe. Hope you're doing good. Helldivers 2 is doing something with patrols. I haven't read it yet, just woke up. Let's get into it. Twinbird said, Helldivers, as many of you have noticed, something has been off with patrols and spawn rate for some time now. This primarily leads to more enemies rearing their ugly heads than they're supposed to, which I kind of like. I wish it would be, I wish there was something you could toggle on. Not a, not a standard thing, but a toggle on for higher levels. I'm, I'm beginning to enjoy it. It's just me. I'm weird. Indirectly to players feeling overrun, kiting, and subsequently less fun gameplay. I think the less fun part stems from the accuracy of the enemies. I want to face more things. I just don't want to be killed by one single enemy the moment I peek for two seconds. Such. This has been the case for all players, but we pre but predominantly for smaller teams and solo playing. We've been aware, but frankly, the past couple of weeks have been so hectic that we haven't been able to give this the TLC that it required. You knew, brother. You knew about our struggles and tribulations and trials and whatnot. We, no we now have, and we've concluded that it's not working as intended and we're changing it. Oh, the wording there was scuffed, so you didn't know. You just, you heard the, the feedback, but couldn't get around to it. That's more fair, I suppose. There might be some minor tweaks, but overall, we're reverting back to how patrols and spawn rate worked before the patch that changed them a few weeks ago. We believe that, th th we believe that this is more or less how you currently want them to be. Kind of. I just want, I want to face more things, but have them be less accurate. That's just me. We also know you want us to do things and changes properly instead of you rushing them, and we do as well. Therefore, implementing this will take some time. We want to give it a proper testing and review it. Ah, uh, heck. Simply, simply see that it works this time. Even if this means we're faced with more bugs and bots than even the bravest of citizens would deem realistic for a while longer, we hope you're happy with this fixing the problem. Onwards and upwards. So to explain my stance on this, I think it's great they're changing it. Most folks don't like it. And the goal of the game should be to please the masses. And this is a very blatant thing that folks are not really enjoying. People on all different difficulties. It's not just a hell dive thing. If you can't handle hell dive, play a different level. It's not just hell dive. Folks aren't having a good time playing on level four, three. It doesn't matter. Any level that folks were on, because it's all relative. What you can do in a video game is all relative to you. People have different time for things different learning curves. So there are folks on the lower difficulties because not everyone has the time or the will or the want to get to the higher ones. And all of a sudden they can't complete them, which is one of the worst feelings possible. Full stop. You build up to something and then the thing that you're doing now comfortably gets taken away from you. You get reduced to a level that you were at a long time ago that's much lower than where you were moments ago thanks to a new update. That's, that's not very fun. Now, fun, as most folks point out, because no one's ever heard it before, is subjective. Thank you all for that wise wisdom. And for me, subjectively, I really do enjoy the increased patrol spawns. I just don't like that a single mob has the ability to kill me so fast, so consistently. They're just too accurate. They have been trained to headshot as if they've been, in, they've been put in Kovacs. All these bugs, Kovacs freaking gold platinum membership. They found a way to pay for Kovacs. They're in aim labs as well. They, they might as well be sponsored by it. They hit nothing but headshots. The bugs, the bots, the rocketeer guys. I've gotten lucky recently. I get shot by a rocket. I don't die. In one head, it's a headshot. I don't die. So there's someone up there looking out for me. And freaking big ups to them. Appreciate them heavily. But I do enjoy the increased spawns. It just gives me that challenge. It's not even just because it's better for YouTube. Because right now the game's on a bit of a... Is that the right way? One of those. Going, I whistled too. Make it. It's not going great. It's the balance team. Whole different video on that. It was gonna be a part of this one, but that deserves its own thing because I got some stuff to say, man. It's more so about what they need to do in that video. And for this, they gotta add some kind of toggles. Like I think that there legit has to be the ability to choose to have your game be more difficult with more enemies to shoot at, especially the, the small enemies. I love shooting at more of the hulks and the devastators. That's really fun. Really fun for me. And for bugs, it's really enjoyable going for a high kill count. And with this going away, the kill counts won't be as high. And that's what I keep thinking of is, man, I want to push for high kills because that's what keeps the ball rolling. That's what keeps me enjoying the game is going for new personal records, chasing something. That's something to chase. The missions themselves, I've been saying a lot, aren't that challenging. So you have to give yourself your own challenge. And that's what this patrol stuff did for me.
was give me a challenge that the game didn't offer prior because of just the arbitrary increase in patrols. At first, I wasn't a big fan given how it just didn't feel. It didn't feel as though it was what they said it would be. And that doesn't, that's not a good thing when they keep saying stuff and what you're playing doesn't equal in any way, shape, or form the words they spoke and or wrote in the patch notes. That gets old real quick. But bugs happen. Fair enough. I don't know if it's a bug, though. I feel that the people on the balance team are evil. I think that they're legit evil. They hate gamers. Not all of them. But that, the, the freaking hello neighbor, we gotta be saying goodbye neighbor here soon. And I'm, I'm, I'm being so, so serious right now. I think we have to. Lil Bro has to either lose his position of power, if he has one, and get put into the corner where he can't make direct change unless it goes to a bunch of other people and they okay it. Because their idea of what makes a game good is so far away from what 99.9% .9 of people think makes a, good, a game good. And this is part of the other video I'm supposed to be making, but I just can't, I can't contain it. There's some changes I heard about that were made that I can't confirm because they require testing me mechanics that are kind of evil and I can't do those, like shooting teammates. I don't like doing that on purpose. It happens, but I don't, I don't do it on purpose to confirm certain changes. But I want to know who are making these goofy, arbitrary changes in the first place. The patrol stuff, I assume, is a bug. But I also don't because the balance team is so freaking scuffed. And that's bad. You don't want to be assuming the balance team is against you as a player. That's not, a, that's not good. We gotta work on that. Hopefully the CEO can just clean house the way he needs to. I'll dive into the deep end on that one later, but what do y'all think? Should the game have more patrols, but the mobs in the patrols are less accurate, or we get less patrols and they stay the same as they are now? Because I personally want to have the game give me more mobs to shoot at and they can shoot me or freaking sink sink but they just don't go for my freaking dome ski as often. If you just tone down the headshot accuracy and the headshot damage, that alone changes so freaking much. If you let folks just survive an extra headshot on light armor and scale it up all the way to the higher end, folks will have a much better time. And then you all of a sudden you can handle more mobs. Also maybe work on giving us some kind of flinch resistance, maybe as a passive or heavy armor. I would take heavy armor because that, that then makes it more usable on the automatons. Folks are still one chicken light armor, which I think is a throw pick. Heavy armor makes more sense. You don't need to run that far. There's usually cover, not always. Sometimes you have no cover at all, but there's usually cover you can get behind and heavy armor lets you survive while getting behind it because light armor, you can serpentine all you want. Some ways to get lucky. Freaking 360 Marauder or Rocket Dark Tier. That being said, I do believe the Yap Session has reached its end. Rate it 0 through 10. We appreciate your feedback. We'll go ahead and throw it through the, uh, the feedback counter, Shredder, and we'll get back to you on the next one with some improvements. And here, thanks for watching. Have a good day.